This week in Toronto real estate, there was a very unusual story that needs to be discussed with each one of you. Whether you have a 1 million, 2 million, 4 million or $10 million home, you need to make sure that it is being represented by the best possible storyteller that you can possibly hire for your property. I cannot stress this enough. As someone who has analyzed thousands of real estate listings, the great ones and the worst ones, it shocks me to this day that someone with a multi-million dollar property would not take the time to review the listing and make sure that you weren't completely sabotaging the value of your property and the exposure that is so important. The marketing channels you use and the people you are hiring to represent your property are so very important, especially now that we are back into a market where you need to have a professional who has negotiating experience, but is also an expert storyteller and copywriter. That's where my strengths are. I'm actually, I would consider myself more of a storyteller than a realtor. This podcast has created so many opportunities for me to be able to share those stories with you. And I know that the first time someone hears about your property, they're going to start making decisions in many cases. And I know this for a fact because I ask these questions. In many cases, in my experience, it was this podcast and one of my historically based podcasts of, a, of, of certain properties that have actually been the catalyst to create a new sold record being broken. And there is still certain properties of mine that I've sold over the last few years that still are the highest sold on that street. So instead of just hiring someone that you know, or someone familiar, do your research, find out how these people you're hiring are going to write your listing. How are they going to tell your story? The best way is look at at least five of their past listings and have them explain to you what went into the research for each of those properties. This is something that I do on a regular basis. I constantly share previous sold stories. They're all over this podcast. I, I share them as often as I can because I'm so confident that that is what is missing for so many of you. You're hiring order takers in many cases to represent your multi-million dollar properties. And it's costing you millions collectively as sellers across Toronto, GTA and Ontario. It's costing you millions, probably more because you're not taking the time to truly research the person you're hiring and making sure that they are the most qualified person. So if you know them, and let's say you've known them for 20 years, that's a good start. But are they the most qualified person for that property? Can they tell the best story for your property? Make sure you find that out before you sign anything. 
and I'm happy with no strings attached, nothing signed. I'm happy to take your property and do a complete mock listing for your property to show you exactly what it's going to look like to give you a sample of the podcast and the professional video that is essential in making sure your property stands out and the biggest mistake happening right now and I review real estate videos every day and it's a horror show most of the time it is a it's either um a combination of a slideshow turned into video or it's strictly a property video sometimes there's drone photos what's so important in those videos is the community element that is missing in so many videos that is essential to the ones that I create because that is part of the reason people move there and that's the reason and you'll 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 agree when you when we talk the community is one of the reasons that you've been in that place for a while and chances are the community is the reason your property is so much more valuable it's not going to be just because your house went up in value people don't just move to a neighborhood just because of that particular reason there's a lot more to it there has to be something beyond that there has to be great shops there's got to be great parks there's got to be improvements happening there's got to be something more and if you don't discuss that if you don't bring that up to future buyers you're leaving so much value off the table that it's it's again it's it doesn't make sense to do that it, it no logical homeowner would do this so if you're listening and you're logical and you're smart about your investments especially now reach out to me realestatepodcastshow.com or via email paul.indrigo at c21.ca and i'm happy to set up a time to do your home value update as well as a preview of how your listing is going to look and i assure you once you see that you will not settle for anything less thanks for tuning in